Welcome everybody, this is Captain Friedrich with Martin County Fire Rescue Training Bureau. Today we're going to be going over vertical ventilation specifically on commercial flat roofs. So you see here the crew is on the roof, sounding the roof, walking along the wall for extra support. Go ahead and start by using the flathead axe, scoring the tar paper, trying to figure out exactly what the construction of this roof is at this point. Another member of the crew goes ahead and starts peeling up that tar paper to expose the next layer. The next layer in this case consisted of two layers of foam laid in. We go ahead and start breaking that apart to get down to the layer underneath that. This is very time consuming and not light work. Now we go ahead and get down to the third layer which is comprised of heavy metal decking or Q deck if you will. We have the member uh, sound in the roof for the truss to prepare for the sawyer to make his cuts properly. Now the sawyer with the K-12 goes ahead and starts making his cuts. Sawyer's making sure he's bouncing over the truss system not to cut into it. Now that we know the uh, construction and the layering of the roof, you'll notice uh, another crew member with the chainsaw at this point is now cutting away in order to go ahead and extend our vertical ventilation hole. We didn't use the chainsaw prior on the original part of the hole because we were not yet aware of the construction type and to avoid cutting into potential lightweight construction. So now again, we've got crew members starting to take the metal deck and open the hole up while other crew members are peeling back the tar paper. So here you see a couple different methods of uh, removing that foam. Uh, earlier in the movie you saw us just breaking it away. On the right you see another method with the halligan using the pick end and then on the left a little more unrealistic but if you did happen to have a drill up there you could actually un undo these screws in the large washers and take the foam out completely in sheets. So now we've got it all cleaned up. The sawyer again is making his cuts. The member with the roof hook is marking the truss for the sawyer. So just as a reminder guys this is going to be a, an extremely physically taxing uh, task that you're that you're going to be doing up here it's going to require all members that are on the roof to be working simultaneously everybody tools in hand the entire time so you see the member on the left on the far left of your screen is trying to defeat the spot welds that actually attach the 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 metal decking to the top of the truss system those have to be defeated finally remember to take the ceiling underneath and don't forget to remove the roof decking rather than put it back into the opening you've made. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out to the Training Bureau.